You're watching WGN News at 9. Chicago police horses will be getting new gear in preparation for the NATO and G8 summits this spring. The Emanuel administration has put out a call for bids for police horse riot gear and training aids. The Mounted Police Unit has 30 horses and 30 officers. The police department says they are key to crowd control and it's crucial that the horses be protected from any possible attacks or violence. No word on how much it may cost, but the department says the gear will include face and eye protectors and a special leg shield. In 1999, world leaders gathered in Seattle for the World Trade Organization meetings. While they talked free trade, outside in the streets, chaos overcame the city and in turn, law enforcement. And as you pointed out, Chicago will be hosting not one but two global summits over the same weekend in May. WGN's Julie Unruh here with a look at lessons learned in Seattle and what Chicago needs to do to keep that from happening. They uh, learned a lot. They continue to learn a lot because people continue to look back as we are trying to look forward to May. Now, the city of Chicago says residents and businesses should carry on. Business as usual this spring. Don't shut your doors. Just plan for a few inconveniences. If you talk to a man who worked the WTO in 1999, he'll tell you he lived through one of these global summits, but he didn't survive, professionally anyway. Norm Stamper turned in his badge as Seattle's police chief days after the riots in his city and says what he did should never be repeated. He ordered the tear gas. What we had in Seattle uh, was three days and nights of uh, uh, guerrilla warfare. Seattle's former police chief recalls the riots in his city all too easily. The pictures from 1999 are quite vivid even today. Protesters filled the streets, smashed storefronts, and set fire in the intersections. While some opted for nonviolence, others did not. So police turned tear gas on the crowd of 50,000. 600 people were arrested and more than two and a half million dollars in damage was left in its wake. Chief Norm Stamper was the man who made the call for chemical agents more than a decade ago. This is Stamper publicly turning in his badge when the whole thing was over. In his book, Breaking Rank, Stamper looks back. One chapter is entitled, Snookered in Seattle. In effect, we started it. The cop in me said, go for it, do it, we don't have a choice. Uh, the police chief in me should have been saying, this is going to exacerbate the situation drastically. And indeed, it did just that. Stamper says Seattle had another problem. They were undermanned. 900 officers was not enough. He claims to take on the drum beaters, the glass smashers, and the violent minded. While a small percentage of the group overall, they were a powerful bunch. Extracting protesters one by one, like Chicago plans to do, was the idea back then. But the execution was impossible. We had planned to isolate those engaged in criminal activity and uh, extract them from the crowd. That became utterly hopeless. Stamper says Chicago stands a better chance. The superintendent here has already made it clear tear gas is not his preferred choice for riot control. Chicago also has thousands of trained officers, not hundreds. The city's liaison for the summit says the department's 3,000 plus officers will be ready. But the men and women that I talked to in the Chicago Police Department feel that they're being trained appropriately. But one eight-hour course is all a majority of the force is getting, says the police union. Not enough. Right now, we're at a point where you can't train guys anymore because it's too late. As you can see right there, we're, we're clearing a path for the First Lady. Arnett Heinz, a former Secret Service man protecting presidents and their families the world over, is retired now and runs a security advisory firm in Chicago. He saw firsthand how tear gas alone can blow up in the faces of the principals at these kinds of summits. Take Panama in 1992. Tear gas has hit everybody on the stage. Including President George Bush and his wife. He too thinks McCarthy's position on tear gas is the right one. He's not taking it off the table, but the use of it will have specific guidelines. While Seattle may seem like a long time ago, the riots at world summits have not calmed down since. Take Pittsburgh in 2009, or the G20 in Toronto back in 2010. Police referred to the worst of the protesters there as the most wanted. The Occupy movement stronger than ever, Chicago will soon be the next host city the world is watching. You need to be ready for the worst. We were not. Now, the summits are scheduled for May 19th through the 21st. We're told 40 to 70 di dignitaries are expected. However, a final list of principals is still taking shape as we speak. Now, the summits themselves will be held at McCormick Place, but exactly where the protesters will be allowed to stage 
has yet to be established. Remember, the groups often find a stage of their own where they want, when they want. Extra security for the city is expected to top $65 million. Can't see those pictures worst. enough as a reminder of what was. And who knows? Who knows? Yeah, thanks, thank you. Julie. You bet. Coming up, Medical Watch, one flu shot.